Okay, guys, I'll try this again. <laughs> um, okay, I watched a couple episodes of Sid Roth this morning. Um, not something that's usually on my schedule, but I didn't sleep well last night, and I just um, was really exhausted. So I sat down, and, and I figured if I tried to read, I would just doze off. So I listened to some, um, a couple of episodes of Sid Roth. Um, one of the episodes was called End Times Instructions from Heaven by Carlos Sarmiento. Um, it sounds like this gentleman runs like a 24-7 prayer house down in Orlando. It's very interesting, but, um, it was just kind of a confirmation. I had had a dream last night that I was having an affair and I walked into like a party with this gentleman who I was having an affair with, who I've never seen before. <laughs> and, well, I might have seen him, but I don't remember seeing him. Um, and then he walked away from me and this lady came up to me because I was feeling just horrible and I couldn't figure out why I was doing this. And she came up to me and she said, I can help you. And I said, how? And she said, the father wants me to show you how to open your heart. And then I woke up. So I asked the Lord about it and, and the Lord, um, had me, you know, for whatever reason, watch those episodes on Sid Roth. And one of the things that was a little confirmation to me was in this, um, end times instructions from heaven video with this Carlos Sarmiento, he talks about his heart being opened by the Lord. And so then the Lord gave me this word and I'm going to go ahead and share that with you again. It's March 10th. Okay. My daughter, your question to me is how, how do I open my heart Lord? Well, first opening your heart is a goal you should have for it is in my perfect will for you. And you have not yet been ready for me to open your heart for it has not yet been your time. You are starting to trust that I am in control of all things. You are starting to believe that I don't want bad things in your life. You are understanding this now. I do not put up roadblocks unless you are heading down the wrong road. Satan and his minions are responsible for almost all roadblocks my children encounter. If they are not put there, I'm sorry, if they are put there by me, they will not necessarily be a roadblock, but just a directional change. I will bring no harm to my children or my creation, but I do allow for Satan to do things because if hearts are closed or even the hearts of a nation are closed, sometimes it takes a wake-up call event to open these hearts. You, my daughter, seek for an open heart. Many of my children do. This is how I would desire all of my creation to come to me with a longing desire for me to open their hearts. There are just not many made ready to have me open their hearts yet. But you, my daughter, and my bride will have their hearts opened supernaturally because you see you are asking for this. Look forward to a future of my hand in all you do. When you see how I work in your life and how I work in the lives of my chosen, your heart will open. It will open and receive my true love, my true light. Sure, you are at a point where you understand the concept of how much I love you, but soon you will feel and experience my love in a whole new and different way. I will become real and tangible to you soon, my children. You will never look back, but only forward, for the light of my love shines brightly ahead for those who want to see and receive it. This is the opening of your heart. This is what it will take to open your heart, experiencing my love in a very new and real way. Seeing my miracles flow from your own hands and the hands of your brethren. Be no longer afraid, my children. All of you are at different po points on the path. 
But once you become ready, your heart will be opened for my light to shine in. Your hearts of flesh will be changed into my hearts, and you will start to experience me in a whole new way. I love you, my children.